Lewis Hamilton makes George Russell upgrade offer after USGP qualifying crash. Without spare upgraded parts available to him, George Russell revealed Lewis Hamilton offered his teammate his version of the team's updates after he crashed in qualifying. Mercedes brought a significant upgrade package with them to Austin this weekend, in what looks set to be their last large set of updates of the season as they look to finish 2024 on a high. George Russell reveals kind offer from Lewis Hamilton after qualifying crash. Hamilton is heading into his final six races as a Mercedes driver, and, with the 2025 regulations being mostly a continuation of what is in place now, any updates brought to the current cars will likely be able to influence development for next season's runners. With Russell having crashed out at the high-speed turn 19 in Q3 and Hamilton having been knocked out in Q1 on Saturday, Russell revealed the seven-time world champion offered his teammate his version of the updated Mercedes W15 to run with on Sunday in Austin, though this was not an offer that would be taken up, with the cars heading into park firm conditions. Reporting that he was safe and well after his high-speed impact on Saturday, Russell told media including we, I mean, right now, the concern is about the upgraded bits. So, you know, we will have to revert on the upgrades. Lewis has kindly offered his ones, but we're not going to. So I don't know what's going to be happening now, but that's the biggest concern. Russell's engineers will have faced lengthy repairs heading up to the United States Grand Prix, while Hamilton is set to start from 18th place after Liam Lawson's 60-place grid penalty takes effect for power unit changes. With the race looking like a tough proposition from the team's perspective, Mercedes team principal and CEO Toto Wolff admitted to facing an uphill battle when the lights go out at the Circuit of the Americas on Sunday. A disappointing and frustrating day, Wolf said when reflecting on Saturday's action. After a strong Friday, we were hopeful of a good showing and it quickly became clear in the sprint that we didn't have the pace of our nearest competitors, falling back to finish a distant P5 and P6. Added to that, the handling balance both drivers had enjoyed the day before was missing and they were struggling with tyre overheating, Lewis on the rear axle, George on the front. We made some setup changes to tackle this ahead of qualifying, but we continued to struggle and couldn't unlock the same level of performance we had seen on Friday, with Lewis finishing P19 and George P6 but unable to complete his final flying lap. Tomorrow's race will therefore be an uphill battle, there is a major repair job ahead for George after the Q3 crash. With Lewis starting P19, it will be a case of damage limitation in the race, fighting for meaningful points will be tough and we need things to fall in our favour to do so. George Russell to start from pit lane at USGP after park firm breach. George Russell will start the United States Grand Prix from the pit lane after an enforced park firm breach from the Mercedes team. Mercedes had to break the cars covered's period two hours after the end of qualifying and worked through the night to repair Russell's car following his Q3 crash on Saturday at the Circuit of the Americas track. George Russell to start from the pit lane at United States Grand Prix. Russell's heavy crash at Turn 19 summed up a day to forget for Mercedes, as they also suffered with a rare Q1 exit for Lewis Hamilton, who has a recovery mission of his own to complete from P17 on the starting grid. The FIA filed a report at 10.18 local time ahead of the race to state the Mercedes-AMG Petronas Formula 1 team did not cover car number 63, driver George Russell, two, two, hours after the end of the qualifying session, but continue to work on the car. As this is not in compliance with Article 40.6 of the 2024 Formula 1 sporting regulations, this matter is referred to the stewards of the meeting for their consideration. Article 40.6 of the F1 2024 Sporting Regulation state within two, two, hours of the end of both the qualifying session and the sprint session, where it is scheduled, all cars used during each session, or which were intended for use but failed to leave the pit lane, must be covered and ready for FIA seals to be applied in order to ensure that they remain secure until the following day. For marketing purposes this deadline may be extended for one car from each competitor for a maximum of two, two, hours by prior arrangement with the technical delegate. Whilst cars are covered overnight, they may be fitted with devices to keep them warm. 
After such a big crash with a lot of damage sustained to Russell's W15, Mercedes needed to work overtime in order to get his car ready for race day and they have also been forced to revert his car to the Singapore spec. Teammate Lewis Hamilton had offered his own Austin upgrades to be fitted to Russell's car but the team have collectively decided not to go through with the seven-time world champion's generous request. Russell told media including we at Cota after the crash, I mean, right now, the concern is about the upgraded bits. So, you know, we will have to revert on the upgrades. Lewis has kindly offered his ones, but we're not going to. I mean, all season when the car's in the sweet spot, we're fighting for poles and wins. Yesterday, we were both fighting for pole, and today, Saturday, we were both almost out in Q1 and you know, I really pushed it on that last lap, ultimately trying to find performance that wasn't there and paid the price. I'm really just disappointed with myself, because everyone's worked so hard to bring the upgrades. Miffed Toto Wolf declines Ted Kravitz interview after USGP disappointment. Sky F1's Ted Kravitz revealed Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff turned down an interview with him after qualifying in Austin on Saturday, with the team enduring a disappointment of a session overall. Lewis Hamilton qualified 19th for the United States Grand Prix, set to become 18th once Liam Lawson's grid penalties are applied, while George Russell placed his Mercedes 6th on the grid, but crashed out late in Q3 after an accident at the fast left-hander of Turn 19. Toto Wolff for Mifta after a disappointment of USGP qualifying. Mercedes had brought what is set to be their final large upgrade package of the F1 2024 season to Austin this weekend, with the team looking to put themselves back in winning contention for the final races. Having finished fifth and sixth in the earlier sprint, Mercedes had been looking to back that up with a solid showing in qualifying, but while Russell made it to Q3 prior to his crash, it was the first time Hamilton in particular had qualified on the last row of the grid since back in 2017. Wolf is often seen interviewed on Sky F1 to give his reaction to qualifying, but Kravitz explained that, on this occasion, the Mercedes team principal opted against doing so. For Lewis Hamilton, what a disappointment, Kravitz said of Mercedes' session on Ted's notebook on Sky F1. 19th he qualified, but it will be 18th unless he decides to start from the pit lane and he was not happy with the car. Made a mistake at turn 12 and lost half a second and didn't make it out of Q1, it's that simple. So they both didn't make it easy for themselves by languishing P17 and P18 until the last runs in Q1, then only had one chance. George got through, but Lewis was really nowhere near after that mistake, Six tenths of a second off George Russell and out in Q1, bit of a shocker. Then Lewis said, What happened to this car, guys? George completely agreed. I don't know where what we're missing since yesterday. They gave it one more go. George got into Q3, gave it one more go from sixth on the grid, and then crashed. And Toto Wolf is as miffed tonight, or was as miffed tonight after qualifying as I've ever seen him declined the opportunity to do an interview with yours truly, and just wants to sort of lick his wounds. Listen, it's only motor racing, Toto, you know, don't worry about it, the race is tomorrow, but sixth on the grid and a crashed car with lots of work for the mechanics to do tomorrow morning, Sunday, and Lewis Hamilton starting 18th is not what they came to a big race like Austin, Texas, to do, obviously speaking. So that's a disappointment from Mercedes.